All right. Well, um, I I noticed I can't help but notice that so you have like fourteen thousand followers on LinkedIn, and you have almost six thousand YouTube subscribers. And I want to know some like tips and tricks that you can provide to help someone grow a YouTube channel, uh, a LinkedIn profile, and just overall building a self brand. So, like, what what are some keys to success to building your following uh, in the infosec field? Um, I think um, for me. Uh, I started I started my LinkedIn in the year 2022. Um, uh, I started growing it. Uh, it's happened so fast. Uh, you know, my intention was just to start building networking on my LinkedIn. You know, nothing serious. So what I always do then is just I do track me a lot. Then I was always spending my time on track me two years ago. Uh, I'll be posting on my computer lab on my LinkedIn you know page. So I started gaining more followers. So I started building up, building up, building up. Whenever I see something or whenever I, have, I you know, practice anything, I post it on my LinkedIn, share it with people. The basic uh, reason for that is to, I feel like giving back to the community is very important. If you learn something, it's good to share with others. There was a, there was a GitHub page I found recently that you, you can use, you know, set up a pivoting lab. I never, I've never seen it before. I was just, you know, browsing around research and I found it and it, it's a very powerful lab that has about seven machines that it's a very, very cool lab, it's very, very stable lab. You set it up on your Kali and you learn pivoting and all that. Uh, you have multiple machines. And I shared on my LinkedIn, you know, a lot of people never heard about it too. So something like that is is um, is what I always, you know, push forward to make people you know, understand and see how you can, you know, give back to the community, how people can learn from you at the same time. Also share your own experience. So that is how I was growing my LinkedIn profile. Then on my YouTube, I, I had my YouTube long time ago, but I never used it. But recently I started uh, using my posting on my YouTube in about, uh, it's never up to a year now that I was very, very active, trying to, you know, post videos and share knowledge on my YouTube. So I, I, I was, most time I was like, I don't know how this grows so fast like this, but I just kept doing what I love to do, sharing knowledge and ideas. Uh, at the same time, it's helping my channel to grow fast and, you know, bringing more audiences and all that. So I think the secret to that is, as a security professional, don't always put yourself out. Let me say, um, nobody will know you, or nobody will look into your profile. Nobody will check your page or your YouTube channel if you're not putting yourself out, right? So if you that's what we call branding. You brand yourself. You know, you let people know about you. Let people know what you're doing. And from there, people can also learn a lot of things from you, from your page, from your channel, you know. So networking, putting yourself out, branding yourself is very, very important in the cybersecurity space. And it has also been helping me. Uh, even though it's not easy to, I know you have your own YouTube as well, I believe you know what I'm saying. It's not easy to put making videos, coming up with different, different ideas and sharing knowledge just like that. So it can be challenging sometimes working full time, I seems like I want to make a video, you know, we're staying up late doing some <clears throat> doing some research. I know it's, it can be very challenging, but the thing, like I said before, you have to have passion for this. You have to be committed. You have to love this before you can achieve it. If if you don't love what you do, it's you, that would be like a barrier for you to, you know, achieve your goal in this field. So for the fact that we love what we do, that's why we put in a lot of effort to, you know, spend time, make something, make videos, share knowledge, ideas, or not. So, um, that is how that is the concept behind my pages, and now has been, uh, it's been growing in a couple of months now. And I'm looking forward to you know putting out a lot of more you know knowledges and more videos out there for people to uh, watch as well, and also to learn something from. Great insights. Thanks for sharing. So final question, we're running out of time. Do you have any additional cybersecurity hot takes or hidden wisdom you would like to share? Number one thing is um, always stay up to date. 
Um, what I why I said that is because I always tell people, you chose this field, nobody forced you to be here, right? Nobody forced you to become a cybersecurity professional. Nobody forced you to become a red team or a blue team or a pen tester. It's what you chose, you know, that is what you chose. And if you have passion for it, you should always, you know, put in effort to kind of understand the field, you are, your specialty, you know, be more, be a better version of yourself every time. Always aspire to learn. This is a very, very wide field. Nobody knows everything. We are all learning every day, every day, new technologies, every day, new zero day vulnerabilities, you know, things like that. So it's an evolving field where you just have to keep learning, learning, and then if and you can, if you are kind of a lazy, a lazy person who doesn't want to learn, this field is not for you. But I believe for every cybersecurity professionals out there, uh, we chose this part. Let's let's try to stay up to date. Let's try to make sure we learn something. Let's try to set goals. Uh, for me, I always set goals every year. Okay, this year I want to have this certification. I want to work on this certification. Okay, this year I want to take this training. This is what I want to learn. Like this year, I told myself I want to learn more the cloud because I, don't, I never had cloud experience and I believe I'm lacking the skills on that. So I was like, okay, let me take training for cloud environment, learn more about cloud security and all that. So I set goals every year. Uh, what I want to achieve, I believe, as a security professional, we should also should emulate something like that. You know, set the goals, have a plan, you know, and work towards it. And from that, you be learning a lot of things, gaining more knowledge, gaining more experience. And overall, you know, what we do is to help, you know, in fast, uh, uh, help organization to secure their IT infrastructure and environment. That is what we do, and. By doing that, we are learning more, and with that, we also make us to be a better uh, version of ourselves. Great insights. Thanks for sharing. If you enjoyed this clip from the Hackers Cash podcast, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. And if you want to watch the full episode, you can get that by clicking here. Or if you want to watch the best video for you according to the YouTube algorithm, you can get that right here. See you in the next video.